Hey leaders, here I am again from Harvard. In my last post, I talked about just a little bit of the problem that goes on when we're in a constant execution mode. Let me just paint a picture of what the downstream consequences of some of that are, and maybe you're feeling that way too. When you're overly reactive, your team is over really active. It spirals chaos and confusion on through the organization like you've never felt before. When you're not taking time to hear yourself think or to give yourself a new pattern of thinking constantly happens as your brain starts shutting down little bit by little bit. The front part of your brain, which is the judgment part, tends to shut off first and the amygdala part of the back of the brain keeps operating, which is your fight or flight responses. I see this happening with a lot of leaders. They get into this reactive space and then get paranoid looking in the rearview mirror more than they're looking out the front. And they're not paying attention to where they're going. They're looking behind them, trying to see who's trying to take them down. When you get into that spot, it's a dangerous, dangerous place. The world looks like it's very small. You're not living in abundance. You're not creating the destiny that you'd like to have. And you're probably trying to control everybody else around you, making sure they don't say the wrong thing, act the wrong way, and you're putting on postures and putting on performances less than you're actually leading. So today, I want you to take a deep breath, several deep breaths, in fact. In the middle of that time when you feel yourself getting overly reactive, quiet your brain. Shut it off for just a minute, allow it to have a little bit of space, and open it back up so that you could become a new person all over again and keep your leadership growing. Type your comments below of how you keep your brain shut off and how you give yourself space. I'd love to learn from you. Thanks for being here.